you experiencing stutters or lags in Fortnite Chapter 6? Then this Fortnite FPS optimization guide is perfect for you. I will show you the best Windows settings, Nvidia control panel settings, and in-game settings. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and comment your epic name for a chance to get a gift from the item shop. And now let's get right into it. Alright, so let's start with our Windows settings. And before we do any adjustments or changes, we're gonna go over to the advanced system properties. Search view advanced system settings and click on this. Open up the control panel in this system properties. Go to system protection. Now in the system protection tab, we would click on create since we want to create a restore point. If this is grayed out for you, don't worry, click on configure. Turn on system protection for the certain drive, which is selected here. In my case, I only got a C drive. So configure, turn on system protection, assign some disk space you want to have to for this. So what I recommend is 10%, but of course it depends on the certain amount of space you've got. Hit apply, go back, and then you should see the create button is no longer grayed out. And click on this, assign any name you want, for example, FPS boosting, and then click create. And now it's going to create a system restore point. Just wait a few seconds to minutes. And the restore point was created successfully now. We're going to close this. Now we go over to the advanced tab. Since in here, we're going to make some changes. So I want you to click on this performance settings. By default, set to let Windows choose what's best for my computer. But we don't want this. We want to adjust our operating system for the best performance. So click on this. Now everything is turned off. In general, you can now hit apply and leave this tab. What I personally prefer is to enable show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen fonts. And this is pretty much it. Just play around with these and check out what each of them does and then hit the apply button. And now we can leave this performance options tab again and the next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna adjust our power plan for this we search up edit power plan or just power plan click on this go back to power options and in here you can see i can only enable the thrust ultimate plan from the last tutorial as well should be set to balanced by default if you haven't changed this yet click on high performance or just your highest performance plan by the way only do this if you don't get any overheating issues you got overheating issues leave this as balanced or power saver if you also want this thrust ultimate plan the best possible power plan for your operating system join on our community discord server link is down in the description. I just created this brand new server, so make sure you can also chat with other people, find new mates, stuff like that. Go on this performance channel if you don't see it, right click on the server and click on show all channels. Go in here and download the frost ultimate plan.batch file. Once you got this batch file downloaded, run this batch file as an administrator, otherwise it can't create these entries for you, so right click on it. If you want to check what's inside of this batch file, you can do this by show more options and press on edit and then you can see the whole batch file and what's inside. So make sure to always check files like this before you run any of these. But once you check it's safe, click run as administrator yes we want to run this and then you can see it deleted the previous plan because i already had this then it checked all the existing power plans which you already had and applies the ones if it says the power scheme subgroup all settings specified does not exist don't worry about it it's just that it varies from system to system so some that got these features some didn't it applies the best settings for you then it activates it and it has been applied we can press enter to exit and if we now go back into our power options go on some different page go back to power options and you should see that for us ultimate plan is enabled next we're going to go into the windows settings like the actual settings app go to the gaming tab and check the game bar first of all now i always recommend to turn this game bar off since it takes resources off your device and the game bar is completely useless in my opinion tab you can also check the related settings graphics click on it and in here scroll down until you see fortnite and in my, in my case fortnite isn't even added so you can add this app by clicking on browse then go to the certain directory where fortnite is installed in my case on c program files epic game fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and here we see the fortnite clan win64 shipping executable file double click on it it's going to be shown in this list and by default all these apps are set to let windows decide we don't want this so we click on options and we want the highest performance so that the graphics preference is always handled by our gpu click on save once we're done here go over to the changed default graphics settings and here you see accelerated gpu scheduling should be enabled as long as the variable refresh rate this last setting should only be enabled if you're playing your games in windowed which isn't recommended at all but if you're doing it anyways for some reason make sure to enable this otherwise leave it off before we're going to leave these settings app go all the way down to privacy and security windows security click on a virus and threat protection it's going to open up this windows security window and you go over to the device security what i recommend you to do is disable the memory integrity yes it prevents attacks from inserting malicious code into high security processes but if you're not downloading any stupid things you you'll be good it could only have some slight impact on your performance since we are optimizing the device for the best performance possible i recommend you to disable this once we're done here go over to windows updates as you can see i got a bunch of updates left so i will definitely do them after this video the same goes for your gpu driver as you can see i currently even got an update left now before we go to the nvidia settings and our in-game settings which are also pretty important so make sure to stick to the end we're going to go over to the system configuration tab services i can't really go into detail since everyone has different apps installed on their system but i want you to go through all these services and check each process which is running check if it's actually necessary to run right now or if it's maybe some app you installed back then and still running in the background so check all of these the same goes for the background process here and the task manager you can just scroll through all of these check if you actually need them go into the startup apps tab what i always do is 
disable all of these except maybe wallpaper engine since I want the wallpaper. But all of these things like Steam, Epic Games, Edge Browser can definitely be disabled. So make sure to do this. Another thing which you should do at least once a month, go into the temporary files and you're going to see since I recently reset my PC, the temporary files aren't that much. But I also had cases where I had 100 or even more gigabytes of temporary files. So click on this, select what you want to delete. You just have to click on remove files. And next up, we got the NVIDIA control panel. Right click on your desktop, jump more options and click on NVIDIA control panel. If you don't got an NVIDIA GPU, if I try to recreate this, I'll skip over using the time step in this video to go to the Fortnite settings directly, whereas continue with me, open up the NVIDIA control panel, go to adjust image settings with preview at, right at the top. And by default, it's set to let the 3D application decide. We want to use my preferences and by default, it's also set to quality. So just slide the slider all the way to performance, hit the apply button. Yes, we want to keep these changes, then go over to the manage 3D settings. And in here, you can just copy my setting or change them with you together and go all the way down to OpenGL rendering GPU. We don't want this to auto select one our GPU. The power management mode should be set to prefer maximum performance. Make sure the preferred refresh rate is set to highest available. The texture filtering quality should be set to high performance. And these are pretty much the most important settings. Don't forget to hit the apply button again. And before we leave the NVIDIA control panel and go over to our game settings, click on change resolution and check that your main monitor or all the monitors got the proper refresh rate. I trans who purchased a brand new monitor and played for months without even setting the proper refresh rate to so make sure you set this to the maximum possible. And once you've done this, we can close this and we're going to continue with our game settings. But before we're going to launch our game now, go back into our Discord server and you probably saw the file earlier as well, but it's the game user settings .ini file, which is right under the power plan. So make sure to download this as well. Click the Windows R button and enter this path, local app data. I will also put this down in the description, hit the OK button. And in here, you got the game user settings in your file, which we're going to override by dragging this into here, move and replace the file in the destination. Now that we're in game, let's go over to the game settings. And here in this video tab, we're going to start with this window mode. And, and this is pretty much based on your own preferences. But me personally, I prefer windowed full screen. There are pros who are playing in full screen and windowed full screen. So just decide what you prefer. As I said, I prefer the windowed full screen. The only thing we don't want to is lay on windowed. So either choose between windowed full screen or full screen. Next up, we got vSync and enabling this can eliminate screen tearing, but also has an impact on your FPS. So as it says here, disabling can give higher frame rate. So make sure to turn this off. The frame rate limit is also dependent on your refresh rate of the monitor. In my case, I got 240. So you can set it either to the exact same refresh rate or set it one above. I'm going with 360. Just don't set it to unlimited. Rendering mode should be DirectX 11 or performance mode. I personally prefer performance mode. Then we can keep the graphics settings here. This is your own preference, but I prefer no colorblind mode. Brightness 100%. Keep it like this by default. The 3D resolution could be 100%, but if you want to make sure that you get more FPS, you can also scale this down. Just play around with it while you're in game. Make sure you can still see buildings and players properly by maintaining a good FPS rate. So just play around with this in game. I personally would say 75% is the best. The view distance and texture and meshes should all be low or near. And this is pretty much it. Congratulations, you successfully treat your device for the best performance possible. If you want to boost your FPS with some secret window settings, make sure to check out frozentricks.com. Make sure you comment your epic down below for a chance to get a gift from the item shop I'm gifting to my subscribers. And with that being said, I wish everybody a great day and I'm gonna see you in the next one.